Joining me now is Zach Johnson, the millennial farmer, and Chet Larson of Larson Farms. Let's start with you, Zach. How did you get into the YouTubing game? I started um, just because I wanted to reach people about farming. Uh, I was seeing things on Facebook and things just from people in my area and even in my family that just didn't exactly seem to understand what it is that we're doing out on the farm. And a lot of that stuff was negative. So what I wanted to do was take that to the YouTube platform where I could actually show them exactly what I'm doing on the farm and why I'm doing it. And tell me a little bit about your operation. Uh, so our operation is sixth generation right now. Uh, my wife and I live on the farm, potentially raising the seventh generation. Uh, full time on the farm, it's just my dad and myself. Um, we've got a few hired hands that help us in the spring and fall, um, but we are all row crop corn and soybeans. We had cattle and hogs up until um, about 25, 30 years ago. And uh, so they were around when I was real young, but right now we're corn and soybean rotation. Chet, tell me about your operation. Yeah, we're also corn and soybeans and just got into a little bit of edible beans, um, just starting that. And I am fifth generation and also had hogs. I was very young. It was still fun to me when we got out of that. Um, but yeah, I farm with my dad and my uncle and grandpa's kind of, he lives on the farm yet, but is slowing down, retiring, and I'm the next generation to keep going. And how did YouTube come to be in the operation for you guys? Oh, hard to get the uh, dad and uncle on board, but um, once we got there, it, it was encouraged by friends and was something I never really thought about until friends started saying, hey, you're pretty interesting on Instagram, Snapchat, and I think you should start a YouTube channel. And uh, it took some encouraging, but we got there and here we are today. And for you, Zach, why is it important to teach the public about agriculture as each generation gets further and further removed from the farm? Well, I think for that reason, you know, people are more removed now than they've ever been before. And it kind of feels to me like they've gotten so removed that they're actually interested in what's happening on the farm again because they have no idea what's going on when they drive by the fields and see the combines or really where the food comes from. They don't know anything about you know, the tractors and the combines and what it takes to run a farm or what it takes to, to raise livestock. So I think people actually have a genuine interest in what's going on with, with the food industry now. And so I think it's important that farmers actually take some initiative and reach out and, and do some of the work to show people what is going on you know, rather than having to listen to whatever kind of media it is that they're looking at, if they can get their information from the actual farmers, I mean, what, what better way is that? And we have an, a great opportunity right now with, with social media to be able to put ourselves out there and be transparent and say, hey, this is, this is exactly what we're doing. This is who we are and, and this is why we do this. Chet, you mentioned that your operation is multi-generational. How has it been to incorporate YouTube among the generations? Oh, everyone brings their own little piece. Dad, dad is, uh, he loves to tell stories, um, which is, I think, why he's the, maybe one of the more popular people on the channel, just because he brings the, oh, you, you don't know how tough it can be, and um, he's got a lot more experience. I think viewers really enjoy that. Zach, both you and Chet are from Minnesota, and you both have large followings on YouTube. How is it to see the Minnesota agriculture industry be represented? It's really cool, you know, and it's awesome to be a part of. It's fun to see how many people are actually using social media now for that reason and how many farmers are on it. You know, it's, it's not just me and Chet, but there's hundreds, it seems like, of, of farmers that are on social media all over the country, not just in Minnesota, but it's really cool to be a part of. Chet, for you, what is your favorite part about bringing the camera into the cab along with you for the day? I enjoy just sh sharing what farming is like, the struggles, the, the bad days, the good days, and what it's like to live on a farm and it ain't just driving tractors. Uh, the breakdowns, the uh, wrenching, preparing, day-to-day uh, -day decisions you have to do, a lot of cleaning. That's my favorite part to show and just how different it is. Me and Zach are 50 miles apart and what works on our farm don't work for him just because of the different land, land type and it's so, so varying of the ground, even just in our area, on our farm. So that's fun to show what works, what don't work with different land types and different crops. I enjoy sharing that too. Breakdowns happen, struggles happen. Is there ever a moment in time when you go, man, I wish I could just shut this camera off and just be a farmer for the day? I do. 
like when you run a pry bar through your combine and it's like, oh, we should really not show this. But it's what bring, it's entertaining and it happened and I don't like to hide that type of stuff. Plus it's, uh, those are the hardest days to film because no one's too happy when breakdowns happen, but that's what's interesting and to show uh, what's actually happening instead of, oh, we're perfect, everything's just working great here on our farm and uh, try to keep it as real as possible. Moving forward, Zach, do you think being a YouTuber is going to be in your operation for the long haul? That's hard to say. Um, it, it does take a lot of work. Uh, and for me, there's plenty of days where I don't necessarily always enjoy carrying the camera around. Uh, I think it'll be there for a long time to some extent, but I don't think, I don't think I'll be carrying the camera with me every day during harvest for the next 10 years. So it's hard to say. Right now, I'm just going by, you know, as long as I am enjoying doing it, then we'll continue to do it. Well, your viewers genuinely love what you guys show every day. Thank you for meeting with me today. Yeah, thank you. It's a pleasure. Chet Larson and Zach Johnson. Thanks for watching Ag Week TV on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday.